Japanese royal kids mature very quickly. A 13-year-old Prince Hisahito bears the future of the whole dynasty on his shoulders. And young Princess Aiko is already called the world's loneliest princess. She soon will have to choose between her country and her own family. The future of Japan's imperial dynasty rests on Hisahito's shoulders. Why was his birth considered to be a real miracle? A female heir was supposed to inherit the throne, and conservatives were not happy about it. But in 2006, everything changed, and people thought that the will of heaven had been revealed. How is the Japanese royal family different to all the others? And how is Hisahito being prepared for his future? Before his birth, Japan was about to change the imperial law, which would allow females to inherit the throne. All because a male heir hadn't been born for four decades. So why were some people still unhappy when he was born? Japan's conservatives wanted to preserve a male-only succession. Although many people disagreed, and were glad that the tradition would change. But with Hisahito's birth, this question was off the table. Under the current rules of succession, Prince Hisahito will eventually bear the entire burden of perpetuating the imperial family. The pressure this prince would eventually come under is too formidable to contemplate. Now everyone is wondering if he is being groomed properly. It is important to have him realize that he is in a position to inherit the throne when interacting with people and to keep them in mind from an early age. According to Japan's post-World War II constitution, the emperor doesn't have any political authority. He is a symbol of the state and the unity of the people. Hisahito has already begun changing rules. The royal family has been attending private Gakushuin Junior High School for generations. But the little prince didn't want to go there. His parents agreed to let him attend Ochanomizu University Elementary School. So he could study with friends he made in kindergarten. Prince Hisahito is the first imperial family member since the war to break this tradition. Nevertheless, his family says that he is just like any other kid. He likes to play with friends, he often takes a leadership position, and really enjoys gardening. Recently though, there was a shocking incident. Someone left two kitchen knives on his school desk. Threats to the imperial family are relatively rare, and the man was quickly arrested. The presiding judge said that this man carried out the crime because of selfish thoughts of wanting to get attention. He got an 18-month jail sentence, suspended for four years. A former president of Kyo University mentored Hisahito's grandfather, Emperor Akihito, who then became the role model for his son, Emperor Naruhito, Hisahito's uncle. Hisahito's grandfather was a symbol of peace, democracy, and reconciliation with victims of Japan's wartime aggression. Unlike him, Prince Hisahito has no special mentor to help him prepare for his future imperial role. It is necessary to have someone who can determine with him what is appropriate for a 21st century monarch. But it is not clear to what extent Crown Prince Akishino or the Imperial Household Agency is seriously considering that. 
it is also not clear if Hisahito will bear the full responsibility for continuing the imperial line. The Japanese imperial family enjoy luxurious amenities, but their lives are also very private. They must follow very strict rituals and trust only a close circle of advisors. Their public appearances are very carefully choreographed and they don't even allow photos taken of them by unapproved photographers. It must be nice not to be followed by paparazzi all the time like the British royal family. As for their imperial household law, only time will tell whether it will change or stay the same. What do you think about such royal rules? Do you think they should have given the throne to Princess Aiko? Or is it nice that they managed to follow traditions for so many years? Speaking of Aiko, why do people call her the loneliest princess in the world? Why is Princess Aiko the loneliest princess in the world? Why is she destined to be alone forever? She can choose love, but then she'll lose everything else. A tale of an unfortunate life of a Japanese royal. Many little girls dream of becoming a princess. But for Toshi, also known as Princess Aiko, the reality is far from a fairy tale. She is the only child in the family. When her father, Crown Prince Naruhito, ascended to the throne to become the next Emperor of Japan last year, it sealed her lonely fate. Neither Aiko nor her mother, Empress Masako, attended Naruhito's crowning ceremony simply because women are not allowed to behold it. But this is only the beginning of the restrictions young Aiko faces. She is also banned from marrying a commoner. She can lose everything she has, including titles and fortune. But what's the big deal? Can't she just marry a nobleman? She could, but there are none left in Japan. Meaning Princess Toshi may never get married at all. She will also never be able to ascend the throne. Because only men can rule in Japan. Recently, they were going to change this tradition though. For almost 41 years, only girls were born in the royal family, and they thought they had no choice but to let a woman rule. Although that didn't happen, as in 2006, Prince Hisahito was born, and people thought that was a sign from heaven. Hence, women will probably not be able to rule in Japan for a long time. However, Aiko was struggling with her life as a royal even before all this. When she was eight, she refused to go to school because children weren't nice to her. She agreed to go back there only if her mother could go too. It took a while for her to go to school on her own again. Aiko's parents tried to make her classmates like her by inviting them to lavish gatherings at the palace. But that didn't stop kids from another class. An investigation revealed that she had suffered violent things from boys. However, the school claimed that they accidentally collided with her, which scared her. In 2016, people worried about her more because she missed two months of school due to an unspecified illness. Palace officials confirmed Aiko had stomach problems and dizziness, but said it was because of the exams and practicing for an athletics event. Although, when a couple of months later, photos of her 15th birthday were released, people were shocked because she looked so thin and frail, which led them to speculating that she has an eating disorder. She seems to be healthy now and is said to be planning to attend university. However, as she grows older, there is not much to look forward to. Several of her older female relatives have already experienced that. In 2005, Princess Sayako, Aiko's aunt, married a commoner. She had no other choice but to leave the Imperial Palace and move into a regular Tokyo apartment. She was given a dowry of around two million dollars. Seems like a ton of money. Yes, until you find out the royal household lives on about 300 million dollars a year. She also had to learn how to live like a regular citizen. 
Sayako was taught how to drive and even how to shop in a supermarket. Last year, Princess Ayako, Toshi's cousin, also went through the same thing. These girls really had to start their lives from scratch. Since their birth, they were surrounded by insanely lavish wealth and hundreds of servants ready to do whatever they desire. The emperor is said to be amazed at how relaxed the British royal family is. He is said to be astounded that the queen pours her own tea and serves her own sandwiches. That is something the Japanese royal family would never do. But the fact that they even consider changing their traditions is a big step. They fear that if women keep being forced to leave the royal family, there just won't be any people left to take on the busy schedule of official duties. Of the current 18 imperial family members who no longer perform official duties, 13 are women. But reportedly, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is against changes and thinks only men should rule because it has always been this way. We hope they will find a way to make the future of Japanese women brighter. But we can only guess if Princess Aiko will be a part of that change. What do you think they should do? Keep their traditions the same because this is what makes Japan so great? Or adapt to the changing world and be like everyone else?